Starting out on our home screen, we'll first navigate to the forecast cluster and then into the sales and cogs tile. Within the sales and cogs tile, we're now prompted to forecast sales revenue by customer. But before we do so, let's point out a few things, including the actuals are only populated through June in this scenario. As is typical for the financial forecasting process, we would load actuals for the current month before creating our current period forecast and select the appropriate updated forecast into which I'll begin layering values. Now you can see actuals have been updated for the July period and I'll now begin the forecasting process for August and the out periods. One of the major benefits of the solution is the ability to quickly select from various forecasting methodologies. In this example, I've opened a smart list against an item which allows me to select from various rolling methodologies, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, as well as selecting prior year actuals or manually inputting values. If I prefer to apply a trend across multiple items or accounts, I can select that trend, apply some degree of uplift, and then simply drag it down across the multiple items. For manual entry, I can select manual and upon save it will clear out my values and allow me to enter them or I can come to a total, type in a value that I think is more representative of the forecast and the system will automatically spread that back. Now we'll navigate to sales revenue by product and explore some additional functionality that allows us to quickly establish whether the values we're entering in the forecast make sense. Let's assume we've now been asked to uplift our volume projections across these multiple items. In this view, we're assessing whether a specific product makes sense across multiple customers. In a proposed scenario, we may be asked to increase volumes across this product. The fastest way to accomplish this is to use the out-of-the-box functionality called grid spread, which will proportionally spread a value back across all these customers. In order to use this functionality, I'll right-click on my total and select grid spread. The grid spread feature allows me to enter a value to plus or minus my original total or adjust by a percentage. In this case, I'm going to replace the total with a new value to demonstrate the functionality. After hitting apply, all cells impacted will be highlighted and the new total will be represented. If I choose to continue with this total, I'll click save and it will be incorporated into my forecast. While grid spread functionality is effective at applying general uplift across various values, I may want to dig deeper and assess whether the predictions I'm making make sense. In which case, I'll leverage the predictive planning engine within the solution. Now let's navigate to examples of trending that would be specific to an account type. In this case, let's focus in on sales services. Again, the same trending drop-down lists configuration applies. I could choose a certain trend and apply some adjustment to it. However, for services forecasting, it may be common to tie that to an overall revenue number. In this case, not only do I have rolling trends as well as prior year actual, but I may leverage the percent of product revenue trend and apply some uplift to that to create my forecast values. Let's look at one more example of trending specific to an account type. In this view, item gross margin, you can see we're forecasting gross margin at the item level. Again, we have trends that are applicable to the financial calculation for that forecasting methodology. Now let's jump into OPEX and review how the trending methodologies we've taken a look at are applicable to operating accounts. Again, fast trending methodologies apply here as well. In this view, I'll quickly make a change across all departments and click Save to apply it. I hope you'll explore the other videos in the NetSuite Sweet Success PBCS Starter Edition series. And thanks very much for watching. Thank you.